Are you ready? I can do the magic that you can't do. You know I step it up a level when I pass through. And when I'm looking for the dough, I never ask you. Because I make my own money, money, my own money, money. money. Part 2. Where... No, why and where to buy silver in 2010. Part 2. Where to buy silver. I'm going to show you where to buy it. If you're in America, if you're in the UK, if you're anywhere around the world, I'm going to show you where to buy it. And you can find your own best prices because I'm going to give you a whole bunch of links to pick through. So you can pick whichever one's best for you. I'm going to show you the cheapest one which I've found which was shipped to my door in Ireland. Um, I live in Ireland. So, here we go. It's the first one. Uh, BuyingGoldAndSilver.com Now these guys, they give you a whole bunch of information right here at the side. You, know, like you click on a bar that you'd like to buy. And they tell you the information and the history about that kind of bar. Like a uh, see, uh, John Matthew Silver Bar. They'll give you the history on John Matthew Silver Bars. And why they're so popular. Um, one of the reasons why John Matthew is so uh, popular is because in 1940s or 60s, John Matthew was the one who, uh, the brothers, John Matthew brothers, they were the ones who inflated the market to $60 at one point. They inflated the silver market to $60 per ounce at one point. That's just an interesting little tip for you. But let's get back to where to buy silver from. These guys do a bunch of stuff. These are just where they, they're based. These aren't where they'll ship to. Like him, um, but these guys also tell you where to buy gold. So some of these companies they're recommending, they only sell gold, they don't even sell silver. Like here uh, they got 39 websites that sell gold or silver in the USA, in Saudi Arabia, 6 in the UK, uh, Australia, New Zealand, uh, Japan, Italy, and other country. So, remember I'm going to put everything in the link. I'm just going through a few of them, I've got a whole bunch. I don't really recommend these guys, you know, uh, because some of them only do gold. And they're not really the best prices, some of them are like this right here, what they've got up here. I mean, they do things like collectibles. I don't want to buy collectibles, I want to buy pure one ounce things and stuff. I mean, collectibles don't mean anything to me, honestly. Uh, Alright, so let's go on. It's a UK based website. These guys are pretty good. They actually have an eBay store, and that's how I found them. A lot of these eBayers that have eBay stores you should um, Google their eBay name if they have if they have a lot to sell not one or two items like if they're saying multiple silver and multiple gold and they've got a whole bunch of stock and like it's in it's in the hundreds or it's in the thousands in price range YouTube the I mean uh, Google their uh, name and that's why I did I googled these guys uh, these guys um, their eBay ID I googled it um, but their eBay prices are way different from what their prices are in here. Uh, this is £14, including delivery, look. Including UK delivery. These guys only ship to UK. They don't even ship to me. But on their uh, on their eBay, they do ship to me. Um, 15 14 including delivery to the UK. That bar's up for 19 quid on their eBay store. Yeah, and that's not including the uh, PMP. So, yeah. If you're buying coins, the best coin to buy is the Canadian Silver Maple. Simply because it's the purest coin out right now. Every coin out there is three nines. The Canadian Silver Maple is four nines. It's only 0.9 away from being 100% silver. Every other coin is around 0.10 from being pure silver. So if you're going to buy coins, you're not sure which one to get because they've all got these different kind of prints. You're not sure which one's popular. The most popularist and the most best, most purest is the Canadian Silver Maple just because of its purity alright now let's go over here, the US Mint the United States Mint these guys have been bailing out the US, the US for a long time don't forget one of the ways where a country is worth is by its silver and its gold content that's one of the ways that it's worth because you can't worth it on its notage because you could print a million notes so they worth you on Things like this. This is, you know, this is God's money. This is quite a lot. So let's go check them out. I mean, wait, let me go back to that. See these? These are, these are, they don't have a lot of silver. They don't do silver bars. They just do like coins. And if you YouTube the sil the um, United States Mint, um, some guys waited up to three to four months 
for their coins to come after they've paid. So you will have to wait a while for your coins to come, but they will come and this is the US Mint. They only ship to the US and Canada, they don't ship anywhere else in the world. And they got a fair price, only like a dollar or two above spot. Let me just show you something on their homepage. What have I done? I just want to show you that something because you can make a bit of money here in the US Mint. Do you see these? These $1.25, $1 roll coins for $35, they go on eBay for about $60 to $70. I've seen it happen, it's done. People are so stupid that they don't know that you can just go and Google this kind of thing. People think, oh, look at those, they're $1 coins. That's all they are, then. they're not special. They're 2010 $1 coins, and if you go and look on uh, ebay.com you'll see they go for about seven dollars don't know if they're still up but they go for about seven dollars that's, that's a mad price so you can make a bit of money there say you need to say you want to make some money off this so just you know people aren't really all that smart when it comes to uh, not a lot of people do research like you're doing right now you're doing research you're a smart person right now so that's the US Mint let's get rid of that this is who I buy off now, do you remember in the first video I showed you the bar that I bought? That was this bar. And it was from this very person. Like a fool. This is when I first buy my bar. I didn't... Because they, they, they have a lot of stock. But what I forgot to do was Google their eBay ID. And I saw all that stock they had. And I just thought they were just some eBay store. But no. If I Googled it, I paid over $2.50 of what they sell on the website two dollars fifty and then I also paid over three dollars in postage so yeah these guys um, their ebay store is more than what they sell it for on the website I should have done that but I didn't and look it's the exact same pitch the exact same setup the exact same title I was a bit of a sucker when I did it but still I do buy from these guys because they're the cheapest that I can find nineteen dollars fifty and they ship to Ireland so it's not bad, they only charge about 3 or 4 dollars for postage. It's not a bad price at all, it's what I pay. Alright, now just show you guys, I'm going show you guys some notes as well. Just so you don't think I'm just bragging about this website, that website. I've done a lot of research. I've ran up a big phone bill in calls and everything. Let me show you my personal inbox, look at that. All these are to different websites, different people asking them about their silver. You know? It's just crazy. Let me just show you this right now. You see this guy? This guy sells silver on YouTube. It's called uh, Silver Worldwide. You can go and check him out. Right now, in 2010, February 14th, he only has 250 gram bars. And I'm not going to buy it. 110 pounds, including postage. He does ship around the world. But um, he's got all these videos about all the stuff he's got. But right now, he's only selling 250 gram bars. So I don't even think this guy's all that. He does have a lot of useful information. I'll put him in the description in case you want to check him out. Um, don't forget, every website here I'm going to put in the description, plus a whole bunch more. I'm not reviewing all the ones that I'm going to put in the description. I want to show you some notes. Remember we used to talk about the Zimbabwe dollar? Like I've got, I've got that that note there on my wall. I want to just just listen to this. Printing them uh, right now, um, and they, they don't actually use them in Zimbabwe anymore. But I've, I've heard that America is perhaps looking at getting into using um, Zimbabwe banknotes uh, in place of the US dollar. So my idea is to sell these. Did you hear what he said? They're going to start using those in the US. The, all notes are down the toilet. That's where, that's where they're all going, that's where they all are. I'll put this video in the link in case you want to watch all of it. I'm going to do research into this because I don't know if this guy's right. I mean... Zimbabwe notes being used in dollars in America. I don't know about that, but I will check it out. And um, if you want, I'll post a video about what I found out. But um, that's the end of the video. Go to the, go to the description at the side. Check it out. There's ones for US, ones for um, ones for UK, ones for everywhere. And thanks for watching YouTube. Thanks for following. Don't forget to, to subscribe. Ask me any questions you want. I'll answer everything down to the last thing. Thank you. Are you ready? I can do the magic that you can't do. You know I step it up a level when I pass through. And when I'm looking